Our penultimate speaker enjoys her outreach, uh, outreach work at CIWA, the Calgary Immigrant Women's Association. She's a strong believer in kids' literature and its power to make the world safer. She's hoping that as she gets older, she'd get wiser, but she's still waiting. Please welcome to the stage Amira Abed. Hi, thank you very much. Um, I'd like to start with a little show and tell here. The week before my family and I moved to Calgary, a friend of mine was coming to Vancouver and she was coming for a very short family visit and she brought me this little guy all the way from Canada to Egypt just so he can get back with me on the plane <laughs> back again from Egypt to Canada just to keep me safe. And my presentation today is going to be about these moments and the people who helped me through them and that yes, it does take a village to uh, make you feel count uh, counted in. Thank you. <laughs> That's how many people went to the Stampede the first year we came, 2015, thank you. And um, we were told that we have to go to the Stampede as soon as we landed. So we, <laughs> we unpacked a little, we slept a little, we headed straight there. And <laughs> once we stood up to sing Oh Canada, that's when it hit me. How far I am away from home and how big a step this is and how this is the next chapter in my life. And suddenly the jet lag and the tiredness all kicked in and I started crying. But then minutes later, the cowboys and cowgirls came sliding down from above my head onto the ring and all the fear was gone. 1,360, this is how much it cost me to get my driving license. Five tests, three fails and two passes. And all, <laughs> and all the lessons in between, that's because I'd been driving for 30 years back home, totally safe, no accidents, but back home we don't drive by those rules, we don't have those stop signs, we don't have speed limits that change every corner. And <laughs> We drive by eye contact. We like the movie Avatar. I see you. I feel you. I know you're there. Please go. Please go ahead. Ladies first. That kind of thing. That's my book, which I published right before I got here. And when I came here, I was planning to work on my second book. Uh, everything was planned. Uh, proposal was approved. The publishing uh, logistics were in place. Two years back and forth to the library. 565 is the number of books I borrowed and read. How many words have I written? Zero. <laughs> 82 is the age of the lady next to me on the train who still enjoys skiing and taught me the difference between a grizzly and a black bear and how uh, they can be more predictable than my coworkers or my kids or my <laughs> husband. And if I see a bear coming at me, it's not personal. That's our bus, and the first time I got on my bus, I gave the bus driver a cheerful smile and $10. I had my kids with me, and he looked at me like an alien and thought, okay, come on and have a good day, folks. And he figured I'm not going to explain to her how it works. And yes, those are the kids excited that they found a fallen bus stop sign and brought it home. Mom, can we keep it? <laughs> 37 is the age of the organization where I work, SIWA. Calgary Immigrant Women's Organization, and it's all about supporting immigrant women with everything from uh, English lessons to trainings, but also programs like these to get people into creative social activities. And um, these are intergenerational programs where you pair seniors and you pair uh, with teens, and they work on they worked on prom dresses. So it was all about passing their skills. It was all about working around social isolation and uh, and all about you know bonding together. Uh, so that was one of our brilliant activities. And this is a program where if a mom has uh, some language barriers, she works with the staff, uh, so the staff could get her into the CBE preschool curriculum, so she would ease her into the system, and mom would eventually be the child's first teacher. So it's not just about trainings, it's more about integration to the Canadian society. This is a very Calgarian moment. We were at a British wedding on our way to Egypt. Very proper, elegant hats, lots of rules. And while the room was quiet, during the speeches, I give a big Calgarian sneeze in my sleeve. And obviously none of the guests knew what it's like to sneeze in your sleeve. <laughs> 
That's a parenting moment where, as my husband and I were very busy with getting ready to uproot from back home, we didn't have proper conversations with our kids. Eldest kid was doing all her university applications all by herself while she was doing her A-levels. Second kid was uh, passing through a full-fledged middle child syndrome. Third kid, w youngest kid, we decided what's the best way to tell him is to not. Until we, eventually, until we eventually did tell him, and now we ended up with a betrayed and confused little human. And luckily, his friend came to visit her dad in Calgary for two weeks, came back with that photo of the plus 15s. <laughs> Calgary Transit and the lost and found. So first time my kid lost his cell phone, I panicked because he has no phone. What if he freezes out there? What will I tell his dad? I'm an Egyptian mom. Anything that goes wrong with the kids is my fault. <laughs> and then Calgary Transit, they find the phone. I come and pick it up. Second time, he, he loses his phone. They call me again, and the lady says, I remember you. So <laughs> I go to the flower shop next door and I uh, buy them a bunch of flowers for $9.99. And once the lady at the flower shop knows what this is about, she refuses to take the money. That's our baby, and six is her age. That's two months when we first laid, eye on, laid eyes on her. Uh, her age is six. We don't really know what's her breed, but we know how much we love her, and she's just lovable and has unstoppable energy. But because of a series of unfortunate events, we had to take the diffi a difficult decision of rehoming her. And through huge community effort and lots of people who helped us, she now has a wonderful family who keep us updated on all her adventures and how she is growing into a beautiful young lady. <laughs> Four snakes is what my extremely neighborly neighbor did. Uh, she spotted two young new boys on our street and decided that they need to be friends with my son. So she took all of them snake hunting. And next thing I know, I'm sitting up in my bedroom and they're coming up with four harmless garden snakes. Uh, these two bookends are my husband and our, our friend whom we met the fir first uh, evening that we came here to Calgary. And these amazing neighbors not only introduced us to the mountains, but also invited us to the very first cozy New Year's party because we're new and of course we can't spend our first New Year alone. One baby black bear who crossed the highway in front of us on our very first time to drive in Banff, and all the cars turned off their engines, and time stood still. And we've never seen another bear since. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was his way of telling us, welcome, and uh, uh, this is your new home. Thank you. Thank you.